Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I'm just going to show you something fairly basic, how to change the eyepieces in your telescope. Uh, most of our telescopes come with two eyepieces, a low and a medium high power eyepiece, and first thing you have to know is which is which. On the Space Probe 130 here, there's two eyepieces included, a Plossel 25 millimeter and a Plossel 10 millimeter. Now the lower the number, the higher the power, so the 25 is the low power, and the 10 millimeter is the high power. You always want to start with the low power, which means the high number, right? Uh, the reason is this gives you a low power, but also a wide field of view. So you're seeing a bigger swath of, of sky. If you start with a really high power eyepiece, it'll be like looking through a little straw and it'll be very difficult to find something. So start with your 25. It, it's a slip fit, it slips in and the set screws hold it down. Uh, now before I go on, just make sure you understand that it's, it slips in. You loosen the set screws and you slide it out. You can unscrew the barrel for most of the eyepieces, but that's just for the assembly of the eyepiece itself. You're not unscrewing anything in the eyepiece. You keep that always tight and you loosen the set screws on the side of the telescope and just slip it straight in. And then the set screws bite into the side of the eyepiece and hold it firmly. So there's your low power eyepiece. Focus on the side of the telescope or if it's a refractor on the back. Uh, find the nice, sharp, bright, wide field image. And then let's say you've centered uh, Jupiter. It's fairly low power right now, so you'll probably see the four moons around it, but you won't see much surface detail on Jupiter itself. So now it's time for the, the high magnification, the 10. Loosen it up, swap by pieces, slide it in, make sure you tighten it back down so it doesn't fall out. And you'll probably have to refocus just a little bit to get the sharpest possible image. And now, as long as the planet was centered in the low power eyepiece, it should be in the field of view of your high power eyepiece. Uh, that's pretty much it. That, it's a very simple process, going from the low power, stepping up to the high power. So always start low and work your way up until at some point you might actually get to too much power and then things start to look a little blurry and, and not very well defined. Uh, on this scope, the Space Probe 130, you can still do more power than what comes with it. So. Uh, another option is a Barlow lens. That's a great next step for the telescope. So let's say now you've found Jupiter, it looks good in the 10, but you want to get even closer. The Barlow, same thing, it's a slip fit. Don't unscrew parts of these. Take the eyepiece out, put the Barlow in, just slide it all the way down until it stops. And then the eyepiece goes into the Barlow. And now it, the Barlow takes your 10 millimeter and turns it into a five millimeter, meaning it doubles the power. So you can use the Barlow on the 25 to make a 12 and a half, and on the 10 to make a 5. So now you've got a nice range from very low to pretty high power. Um, that's pretty much it. Very simple way to uh, use the telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.